Welcome Here we are. to the boss match. I want to talk to you about something uh, at dinner after after uh, the six o'clock event is over. Also, John, something I've been pondering. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. It's an idea I have. It's it's actually not even. It's it's like half of an idea. Half an idea. Uh, it involves a potential podcast. Okay. Actually, that's one thing we need to figure out, too, is the next time we're going to do a podcast. Yeah, we need to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got a Mike Dashner on work diet again, and we got a Jerry Tondini on some burn. So we're going to see where this goes. See if Jerry can get a qualifying point, because Mike has got his. He's got a couple. Does he have a couple? Yeah, he's got a couple. Because okay. the, lead, the leader is Isaiah, then Tom, and then Mike. Yeah. Following. Isaiah's just, like, fucking hoarding them. He is. Yeah, that's why I didn't want him on. I don't want to see him. Do another, I don't <laughs> right. want to see him get his seventh point. Right. Fuck that. So uh, I think that uh, the one thing I like here is I think that Burn actually has a decent Murtide matchup. Yeah, I, I've heard as much. I could see that too, especially with this hand from Mike. If he keeps, yeah, this. he's gonna keep the the land that pings him a point of damage every time he taps it. That seems scary. Yeah. What do we got from Jerry? Is that a Goblin Guide or a Swift Spear? A Swift Spear. Oh, this is happening so fast. How would we know? So fast. Um, I see. So fast. I assume we're going to see a monkey. No, we do not have an accurate card. I'm going to just get some token. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my bad. I got you. No, you can just hide it over here. Or you're going to put up a new card. Swift Spear. Swiss Spear. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, a new card. Yeah. It's just some cheese. What the fuck is this <laughs> art, man? The, yeah. I hate this. I hate what I'm looking at right now, John. Yeah, it's nothing like the Does first Does he have one. Goblin Guide? Let's do Goblin Guide. Maybe yeah. they have a good Goblin Guide art. They probably will bring up the worst one, too. Oh, no. they did! No, th I like this one. This is the one where he's actually looking at a map. Yeah, it's the worst one, though. It is kind of the worst one, yeah. Yeah, it's the worst one. They're all acceptable, but it's the worst one. This is going to be the worst one, too. Oh, okay, no. Classic. All right. That's good enough. It's not classic. Acceptable. Classic. It's the second to classic. Yeah, the Christopher Rush is still the best. Yeah. That was pretty good. That's the second one they did. That's pretty good. All right, Forest Charm. Just oh, fucking there's, there. there's a card we can talk about. This has yeah. multiple modes. Most people don't know that. It's a good card. It's a good card. One of the better charms. You remember sure. that uh, Gary yeah. who used to play here? And he had that kid that was kind of, like, slow. Like, his kid attacked me with a Swiss spear one time. And in combat, played Boros Charm and, like... Piercing it. Gave his Good thing play. double strike. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not really where you're going to be. Like, not at all. Ugh. All right, so we spell pierce the Boros charm. It's a it's a solid play. That's what you yeah. want to be doing. Yeah, yeah generally speaking, uh, I, I get what he's doing here, but uh, ugh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is what it is. All right, Still got so, cards in hand. Yeah, I'm gonna see what Jerry's got in hand over here. So crack. What is this yeah. fucking? He's got guy. the right angle Jesus. here. Um, okay, so he's gonna do some stuff at instant speed. He's got Skull Crack, which is uh, not the best matchup for Skull Crack because Blue yeah, Red Felix. has never gained life ever. Alright, I'd probably go ahead and fire Unless off. Unless they have like Dragon's or... Claws or some shit in their sideboard, which I think is just an atrocious I probably would have fired off a, a burn spell while that was on the stack just to avoid a potential spell pierce. I, I agree. That's how I do it. That's how we do. If this gets spell pierced, I'm gonna be so frustrated. It did not. Okay, good. Good. We're at 11 to 22. Not cracking the fetch. And, ha, wow. Dude, that's just good magic play right there. Doesn't crack the fetch and then immediately dra draws Searing Blaze. So, 
If we get a monkey in here or something, it's going to get blazed. <laughs> like super blazed, like some of that two hit shit. <laughs> right. But yeah, man, that podcast I was talking about earlier, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out more episodes of that shit. But dude, yeah. it was it, it was literally an endless amount of stuff like that. Of like nice little little uh things. No, that's super that, that, that he's done in his movies, like that like pay homage to other movies. Yeah. Some of them aren't even his, like Right. And like there's another like uh so uh Christopher Walken's character in Pulp Fiction is uh has the same last name and is apparently the direct descendant of a character in Django Unchained. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. That's so much fun. All right. Here's a blaze. Three to that. Three to you. Oh, shit. Oh, this is interesting. He's going to kill the fuck out of that. <laughs> that monkey's fucking dead. <laughs> that monkey dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this is a, a legal and heady play. This is a way to get extra damage out of your uh, searing blazes when your yeah. opponent's not giving you creatures. Yep. And Mike's like, well, shit. Does he have a counter spell? Yeah, this is... Uh, Got an arc major charm. <laughs> I don't do it here. He doesn't gain life, right? Oh, he did gain life. Did he? Is that a helix in his graveyard? Yeah. Okay. I say because I want to make sure he took the damage for tapping that uh, right. horizon land. I assume he did. All right. So Mike goes to four. That's not where you want to be. No, I love that it's a, it was his end step, too. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, brutal. Oh, brutal. Just, I, I think you don't do this now? No. Yeah, I agree. Well, he didn't have anything to say about the other shit, so <laughs> I guess it's fair enough. Okay, he did have a counter spell. All right. He gets there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had to pay the one life, that, that land. Nice, nice. That, uh, that painful land we spoke about. Well played. That was good. Yeah, yeah. I, I do think that this is actually... Um, I think that burn is bad against a lot of things in the meta right now, but not this. But it's good against this deck, which is like fifty percent of the meta, which makes it pretty good. Looks like Dashner is bringing in the new, um, like sweltering suns type card, the uh, anger of the yeah. gods type card, the one that blows up artifacts. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I like it against burn. Like, because they could. I, I, well, I guess it's fine. It's fine. it's fine. The danger is they could have a hand that's not creatures. Yeah, because that's the thing. Yeah, with burn. it could be they a get, card. They get a creature but, hand. But I guess he's got like infinite hand. ways to, like, well, I guess he, I said that, and then he's taken out all of his dragon his, rage his selections. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's got yeah. a good way to sculpt his hand. But hey, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not, crazy. We're not. I don't see. Uh, you expect to see like. With the from the blue red deck, some number of like fluster storm or something, which right. I think is a great cyborg card against burn. It just always seems to get there because right. they're usually double spelling, and so you always get the so oh, oh wait, there two, is some number. He got two fluster storms, two blood moons, and okay. one something. I How do you see. feel about blood moon versus burn? Uh, it like, shuts them off a of color, it does show them off a color, color, but like, like, does it do it too late? It's hand dependent too. And you, also, if you're doing that, you're not doing anything else to like win the game, and that that, that is how you yeah. lose to burn is not I'm, winning. I'm not a huge fan of it. But that's but the, yeah. We shall see if it works out. To me, it's always like I played like uh uh like uh like what was the control deck like shred shred red. I remember yeah. playing that against burn, and like it would like win you game one, but you usually boarded it out game two. Yeah, it's just like you can't like. Like rely on that to win yeah. you the game, and the, like and, and like I, I've always said, the best way to lose to burn is to not win. You yeah. know, like yeah, it, yeah, like if, sure. if you're doing that, then you're not putting pressure yeah. on the burn player. No, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of the. It does. It, I mean, if you do, it can get there. It, it shuts him off. Through, it shuts him off. Boris Charmin Lightning. I, I want to reiterate. Is, I don't think it's 
altogether a horrible plan because it does shut off a lot of cards in there's Jerry's a, deck. There's a good degree of variance. Though. Yeah, that's the problem. Is and, there's a good and, degree and I of will variance. say, if Mike does happen to win this game, I think you have to board those out in game three. Yeah, you can't be trying to play turn four. That blood, is you know. not a hand on. Well, does he have two lands? Is he even one land? Uh, it's like he's, a one he's land. He's got a head. He's got a head. That's a one land hand, and I don't like a one, one land hand. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a one land hand. He's thinking about it. Oh, he kept it. Okay. Right, he's on the draw. He, he gets a couple looks at this. All right. Uh, having to use. Uh, mm. He burn could get super on, punished here. Yeah. He it could, could get happen. so punished. And he's got here. a three drop in his hand, too, John. I'm a. I'm a. Like, actually, I don't play burn, but, like, I'm not as high on this three mana can't be countered thing as, I guess, burn players are. Like,. I respect Especially that. on the draw. I don't think as a burn player you want to be playing three mana things on, on the, the draw. draw. Yeah, like I agree that's, with that's I agree with you on the draw for sure. I think the card is respectable. Um on the draw change the dynamic. I don't think he should have kept a one land hand here. Cause if Mike sticks a blood moon, then and it's gonna okay. I didn't take a land away from him. Whew. But if Mike sticks a blood moon, he's gonna be fucked. Oh, he's lava spiking him. Wow. Super, He's super, super aggro play. Land. Uh, shouldn't he be at 15? Uh, no, it's Inspiring Vantage. Not a shot no, 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 but he hit him with the... The monkey, The too. monkey and... Oh, yeah, he should be at 15. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you got the thing. Shouldn't Jerry be at 15? Lava Spike plus monkey? There we go. Not Ash and the Monkey. That means he has a Spell Pierce. That's yeah, going to get Spell Pierce or, right or now. Or he has another creature he wants to play, but this is obviously a pass. So, Man, this this sucks for Jerry to have to be pointing burn spells at, yeah, flash or storm. at yep. other things. Okay. All right. All right, he's got the lands on point now. He likes the Monkey. Yeah, that's not really where you want to be. Right, uh, suspend. It's not the worst. <laughs> He's got a good grip still. Yep. Monkey getting in. Okay, <laughs> can't cast that. That's good. Uh. Jerry was excited. <laughs> Lift up. Bolt and draw for turn. Do they play the spectacle? I really like the spectacle card in the burn deck. Yeah, no, it always does. I'm sure it's there. I, I can seen imagine it, it wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not talking about the, the bolt spectacle. I'm talking about the one that draws cards. The, no, the I, know, I know. Yeah. I, I would not assume. I would assume yeah. it would just be here because, yeah, it's like the best. I think the mistake burn decks have made in the past is they played both spectacle cards. I think you should just play the one. Yeah. I think it gets a little too clunky. Suspending the bolt. I like I like what he's doing here. Keeping up. Yeah, the problem is he doesn't have the damage in hand. Like if oh, all these spells hit face, that's not enough. Well, and he's gonna stop this Ragavan, is what he's doing here. He is kept he? Up, yeah, okay. he kept up a bolt. It's gonna get And it's gonna be fun. Yep. Okay. Does he bolt him back? Mm, probably has to hold that up. This game two has got weird. Yep, pick up that. Bolt your face. Yeah, I think this is going about how you would expect. A, 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 I think play draw is pretty huge here. Holding two mana up. Main per turn. Uh -oh. It's doing the thing. There we go. Oh, fuck, it's still out of focus. Okay. Mm -hmm. I normally do this. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Got it. 
Weird. All right, Jerry Drew. Squeeze of Firecraft. Four to him. Can't be countered. Oh my god. What are we doing here? Camera? Quit being a dick. All right. And he's gonna stick, or he's gonna dash Ragaman again. Well, that's, phew, jury's have to see that. And this is this, is this is where Jerry needs the patience plan. Yeah. Just stack cards up. Yep. Of course, sure. that's a lot harder to do when your opponent's hitting you with a fucking monkey every turn. Yeah. No, it is. This is gonna get let's obnoxious. See. We can actually kind of see. Oh. Okay. Okay. So he's got Archmage's Charm, so he can counter the first burn spell. It yeah. We'll looks see what like happens here. Mike's gonna get there in game two. Looks like it. We shall see. I, I guess another uncounterable thing. Yeah, the exquisite firecraft could just do I just job. sat there and talked shit about how... Oh, he got it! No, oh, no, that's not it. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well. But that is a thing. I mean, I yeah. didn't talk shit about it, and that is a live... Yeah, exactly. Like, murder you on the spot card. Monkey again. Okay. All right, this is down in the wire here. Got a lot of mana to work with. Yeah, he does. He can probably just... Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah he's probably just toast. It. He's probably just toast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's toast. Yeah. <laughs> he's toast. All right. Game trace. Uh... Jerry tried to send us a message there, and it didn't quite come through. I love that he tried to send us a message. It just uh, sucks that uh, got a little flicker on the camera there, and it's not giving it to me. I think that his game goes up quite a bit, though, being on the play. As you would expect for Burn against anybody. Mm. I'm rooting for Jerry here. I want him to get a point. We need more qualifiers. We actually have two potential new qualifiers, but both of them are going up against people who are all already qualified in this last round. So really pulling for Jerry here. I want to get some new people on the board. For sure. We got some uh, sweet prizes for the, the invitation fuck up on this tournament. There will be uh there will be a couple of uh special um invites handed out uh as we kind of always do. I have a point, I'm not going to use it. Right. Um yeah, John, John owns this place, so he can invite whoever the fuck he wants. Yeah, I think I might do so. We'll yeah. see. We'll see how it goes. I know mine's going to. Uh, um, I will say right now, uh, he's not here tonight, which is bad. But like uh, Nathan Patterson, yeah. Nathan Patterson does not qualify by qualifying. I want Nathan Patterson in the tournament for sure. For sure. Yeah, and, we'll find a, and, we'll find and a creative and honestly, way to somebody else Honestly, Ron Knudsen, also not qualified. And yeah, I, Ron I, definitely deserves I, I a point would, for sure. I would hate to see the tournament without Ron. Yeah, definitely. He does Because the these, these are guys that can actually here. win, you know? Like, yeah. I would yeah. love to see Ron win an Invitational. That yeah. would be, like, fucking sweet, dude, because he's, like, crusty like we are. Yeah. Well, and they support the shit out of the store, so, like, that's the Absolutely. whole point. It's player rewards, so we want to reward the players that come out, even if they didn't get a point, so... Make sure that everybody that should be here will be here. I think I think Jerry on the play has a really good shot here. Oh yeah, for sure. He tried, tried to send us a message, John. I know you had to step out for a second. He tried to send us a message, but I couldn't read it because uh, of like the well, he, he like literally put it in the middle of the table. But is like he because, monkey, maybe. Uh, yes, yeah, I think something about monkey, or maybe it says like three monkeys, or so. Yeah, like, yeah, all the monkeys. Yeah. 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 Too many monkeys. Uh, I know Jerry. it ends with a bunch of question marks. Too many monkeys. I hope he's going to shelf that back up, maybe. Monkey Tribal. Uh, I'm curious to see. I, I do like that he tried to send us now a that message. seems solid. I like this. I like this hand. 
It's got yeah. three lands, but two of them you can cycle away. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's where oh, you want to be. Seems awesome. Shocking down and. I don't like that there's no creature. I guess that's yeah. the one thing. I really like. You always want a creature. In this match, I kind of think you want the creature. Yeah, you always want a creature. I think in just in general with burn, you want a creature in your opener. They just net so much damage. All right, so there's burn spell. Is he going to do anything about it? He's going to kind of spell oh, pierce it. Okay, so he's going to go get a basic, I assume. That's fine. All right. Okay, here we go. Here's a Swift Spear and a Lava Spike. Is what it's going to happen this turn. Swift Spear and Spike. Oh, this is the uh, the other one. Yep, yeah, because you had to fetch. Yep. Yeah. Nice. That is the one thing about this burn deck with the Spectacle cards. You kind of need to remember to fetch on your turn. Yeah. As awkward as it may be. All right, so he's holding up. Attention or their magic here. Let me take a look. A um, little bit of an awkward hand here, I think. He's got a couple monkeys and one counter spell and a Path kill spell. is awkward. I do kind of get it. Uh, kind of. Spikes. So is he going to try to kill this in response to... Oh, no. Okay. Yep, he's going to flush your storm. Okay. So he let the trigger happen. So his, his kill spell no longer kills it. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. So now you get in for three... Like, and I got fetched you. a six. This is getting dangerous. Yeah. Burn, like, the best way to beat Burn is to win the play draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you want to yeah. be on the play for two of the three games. Like, that's really ideal. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Because, like, he can play this monkey, and, like, the monkey's just not really... Okay. Well, he's going to be able to turn on Delirium here, probably. Well, he might have to commit to playing this brother. Actually, I don't even know if he can. Things. It's not even 100% that he can. Might have to commit to this sweeper. Oh, he has the sweeper in hand. He has a sweeper in hand. He might have to. If he's going to do it, he's got to do it now. If yeah, he doesn't have delirium, it's sorcery, so it does turn on delirium for next turn. Yeah, but but John, he has to shock to do it. He, they don't play a basic mountain. So I go down to three to do it. Yeah, oh, I don't. I don't Jesus. know if he can do that. I, I just don't know. Monkey and pass. Yeah, this is this is Ooh, rough. This, this is, is really rough. Dangerous. Let's see what Jerry's got. <laughs> oh, he's going to try That's to pass, bad the, news, pass the monkey. It looks like he's got a path. Yeah, he does. He's going to path the monkey. Get in. Trigger, trigger. And then now all of a sudden, Mike's in a really odd spot where... He's got to do something now with that trigger on the stack. To even save himself from one. Oh, yeah, he's fucking... This is rough. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Okay, monkey path. He still didn't have delirium. And then... This one. should be an attack for four. He's going to get a basic mountain. He's trying to. Okay, you just can go ahead and get yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, okay, basic mountain, I mean, he didn't have a basic mount first okay. of all. These decks do not play a basic mount. All right, well, shit, he is. He can't fetch. Um, he's in a dangerous There's spot. a lot of things he cannot do. He's going to try to resolve this. Uh, I assume he's going to try to resolve this right yeah. here. And that's good. Yep. But now he's dead to like a everything. million things. Everything. Anything and everything. Yeah, he's he's... Oh, that actually, he's not dead to that yet. What is that? It is a Searing Blaze. Uh, but he, the thing is, he's dead to it for one. If he tries to dash Monkey, he will just die. Yeah. And so he knows how important this card is on top. No counter magic. Searing Blaze for one. Twat. And it does it! That does it! 
There's nothing he has to say <laughs> yeah. in hand. Oh, the old searing blaze for yeah. one. Oh. All right. Well, congrats to Jerry Tondini for getting yeah. his qualifying point. Jerry on the fucking board. I like it. I like it. I'm John. I'm a fan of new players on the board. That's yeah, something I'm sure. a fan of. Yeah, it was pretty well played burn stuff there. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. That does it. That does so, it. That's uh, uh, that's it for the six o'clock. I um, we have so we're just coming out of the holiday season. I don't think we're a hundred percent out of it, but I think we're like ninety five percent out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and what that has meant is we've had really light sixes. Uh, six o'clock events and basically non-existent 10 o'clock events i think there's a pretty good chance that we're going to have a 10 o'clock event tonight pretty good chance, i think there's yeah. a pretty good chance I think so too. before uh, we sign off real quick too i want to yeah. uh, go over the invitation and stuff so this time around we will guaranteed have dwarf tokens are uh, going to be ready and live and that's the dwarf tokens that go with the uh the thing, the thing that plays uh, in creativity. The fable. Land. The, no, no, no. Oh. The dwarf tokens that go with the, the fable. Oh, yeah, the, the, the dwarven mine. Dwarven mine. Yeah. Dwarven mine tokens, sexy after war, sexy yep. ass dwarf lady. Going to have those ready to go. Um, I will have a goblin, hopefully in time, probably not in time for the invitation, but the uh, fable mirror breaker goblin is going to be coming soon. So everybody that plays in the Invitational is going to get there. I'm not going to do just the tokens I print. just going to be any choice of the two tokens you want out of what we have, which we have all of them. Um, also, I got foil gold edge tokens coming for the top four. Mm. And after this, at all F and M's, first place is going to get their choice of a foil gold edge token from oh, here nice. on. So from every F and M from now on, first place is going to get the foil tokens. I'm only going to do the foil tokens as promos for invitationals. And for FNM when it's oh, nice. So uh, yeah, that's good just touch. going forward, I like it. that's going to be a thing all the time. Full tokens all the time. So it's going to be all the color tokens. Um, got t-shirts, new shirts coming soon. They should be ready and ready to go. Going to try to get some hats um, in the print works too. So those will be top four promos as well. Um, Playmat is fucking sweet. If you haven't seen it, check it out on the Facebook page. It's probably one of my favorites. Every, every new one I do is my yeah, favorite. Yeah, I, I think... Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I really like the addition of the the like figurehead in the the top yeah. right hand corner. It's yeah. it's really nice. Yeah, I, no, I, it's I like it's, it. it's, it's a it's probably my favorite one. Added so layer. Far. Yeah. So yeah, let's go right around the corner. We got a few weeks left to qualify. So get out here and play. Um, and then not to mention too, the mm-hmm. Modern Five Hundred is coming up right after February twenty something. Gotta check the date. I'll mention on the 10. Valentine's yeah. Day. What a better way to <laughs> yeah. spend with your loved one than to... Yeah. I am some fucking uh, mad. Yeah. Yeah, we got a, the Modern 500 coming up next month, too. So, all right. Thanks, for everybody, for uh, tuning in. And uh, we should be back for 10. Yeah, I'll see you at 10. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.